Hello and welcome back to New Year, New Game. This is where I attempt to play 365 games from my Steam library that I have never played before. This is game 237, Armor Core 6, Fires of Rubicom. I'm extremely excited to play this game. God, I have played Armor Core since Armor Core 1 on the PlayStation, and then even went on to play Armor Course 2 and 3 as well, along with some spin-off ones. They had one on the PSP that I dabbled with as well. Uh, I did not get into f 5 and 4, which came on to like, the later consoles, unfortunately. I do have 4 on the 360. I have not played it yet. I just got so many games. <laughs> Time to get around with them. Which is why we're doing New Year, New Game. And this is also could be like... Enjoyable and sad at the same time. Because I'll play a preview of Armor Core 6 for you. That'll be about... Uh, I would not doubt if it goes over 30 minutes. And then I may just not come back and play it for a while. Which is gonna suck. That's the one downside to purchasing new games for me is because not only am I doing this, but I also have other games that I'm playing as well. And uh, I just finished one, so I'm ready to pick up another one. Maybe Armor Core 6 will be the next one. But hey, we will see. The graphics look absolutely stunning. I don't think that my computer is going to be able to really give them justice. I don't play at a 4K setting. I'm just 1920 by 1080 all the way. So you just get that kind of regular, but it'll still look good. I think it's still going to look good. Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the game. Looks good. All that wonderful. Uh, matchmaking region global. Next. Pilot name. Yeah, no, it's empty. I gotta... Ooh, almost had an extra E. Close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Hey, it's what we saw in the trailer. Handler Walter verified. <laughs> Walter. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. C4, those are the self exploding humans. Time to get to work, 621. I never beat any of the other core games, by the way. They were difficult. Those were some no, hard games. Activate the AC. But they had an arena fight one that I really enjoyed. And it didn't affect, uh... Damn. That was cool. some debris. Oh no, we jumped out. Not the power lines. Yeah, I think it was Armor Cores. Just two or three had a arena mode where you fought against AI computers. And if you lost, it didn't count against your like whole loss because I think you could only fail like three or five missions. And then you get a perma KO and have to start over Your again. Decision is grid one three five. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Main system activating combat mode. Third person view. Do, do, 
do check movement camera all of this is checked boost nice jump hold to ascend we're here some actions consume en energy and are disabled while en is depleted en replenishes rapidly when grounded so dark in this corner very large hangar. The reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies when there are multiple enemies. The enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority targets. us. Target assist keeps your AC oriented towards the target. When enabled, your AC will automatically lock on orientation toward enemies as you approach them. You can still use the camera to change targets while in target assist mode. R3 turns target assist mode on and off. Multi-lock. The missile launcher equipped on the right shoulder of the AC is capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack enemies simultaneously, well, multiple enemies simultaneously, by holding down the input for that weapon. All right. Looks like we left one out. Oh, he's not dead. That I killed him. There's no loots or pickups, which wasn't anything that they had in the previous games as well. Access. Repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP armor points. Yeah, what they had Patch it up. was a Two store, remaining. and you earned credits through doing missions, and then just took those credits to the store and purchased items. Or sometimes you'll get a contract that'll give you equipment too. Access the catapult. Let's get a look here. It's pretty nice. Like the design, like the way it looks. Access the catapult. God, just the ink detail in Max is amazing. That is one thing I struggled to draw was robots just because of just how much detail is in them. Time to fly, six two one. Woo If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. <laughs> Said I had a fried brain. Enough chat back to work. Scavenger. 
Watch the AC Rex ahead and find a valid mercenary license. Oh. We're illegals here. You'll need ID to operate. Gotcha. Take the ID off a corpse. Here we go. A uh, quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in any direction, helping you to evade attacks or swiftly close in on enemies. Use assault boost to move rapidly in the direction that the camera is facing, or to rapidly approach targets. L3 is assault boost. I'm picking up signals from AC Rex. Oh, it's the laser sword. that at least once, right? Oh. Oh. Who dares? Oh, they're coming out the dirt. <laughs> yes, yes, again. Oh. Some eyes on us. Don't you know it was impolite to stare? That's what this line's for. They extract it. Uh, license code G7 Hakra. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city contains the pilot's registration data, number, call sign. Uh, affiliation Balam Industries. Our license expires in 12 hours. Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. Alright. Well, who's closer from here? Looks like that one over there is our closest, so let's go that way. Wee. That's the AC from the report. 
Hey, hey, he's already reports about me. Is that how that works? Come on, Walter, what do we got this time? Thomas Kirk! It's a weird looking uh, AC. I love it! It's very retro sci fi. Uh, let's go to try from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. It contains some pellet registration data. Uh, B18, Thomas Kirk. Rank 26 E, affiliation independent. License is expired. This one's already expired. Keep looking. Um, I see that one over there. Was there another one somewhere else? Uh, it slid right off, just didn't make it in time. Yeah. Oh, still got more. Nice dodge. Let's see about this license. License code Monkey Gordo. It's cool looking mech. Lights that could extract from an AC wreck in the contaminated city contains the pilot registration data. Registration number RB37, call sign Monkey Grotto, no rank, independent, expires in 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Oh. I've picked up one more wreck, 621. Hey, where are Transmitting I? marker. Go and check it out. There. Person was just watching the whole time. Well, I'm not gonna get involved with that if I just stay over here. You know, I, I can't get attacked if I just don't get involved, right? <laughs> Wrong! He's got misses of his own. 
Vertical catapult. While standing on a vertical catapult, perform a jump to quickly reach high top places. Right. You can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Where's the vertical catapult at? Did I pass it? I feel like I might have passed it. Hello! Have too much fun on the ground. The gliding around all oh, really fast. Pretty low. Uh oh. AP at thirty percent. Yeah, we're probably not gonna make this one. There it is. Uh, let's see. That might be thirty minutes. It's twenty-four minutes. Yeah, if I restart, we are, uh, we're going to go over that 30 minute mark. So, there we go. That is Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Uh, awesome game. It's definitely an improvement from 1 and 2. <laughs> From the last time that I played it was that. Um, it I was supposed to be difficult. Difficult is part of Armor Core. And this is no different. So I think if I dodged a little more though and used a little bit more cover not to mention too i think some of my hits were just not connecting at all i wasn't waiting for a full-on lock on when i was firing things around so uh i just gotta get good just gotta get good but yeah really fun game i would be more than happy to continue to play this game as well and we'll be adding it to the list of games to continue to play that have come from new year new game uh me i just may play it in my my off time 
start our whole recording series. I'm getting to the point where it's the only time I want to play games is when I'm recording them. But then I have just videos recorded of gameplay that sit away and don't get edited and used. And for Armor Core, I feel like since it just came out, recording that and putting those out right away would be the best option. So, who knows? Maybe you'll start seeing that as a series. And I'll come back and we'll take down the giant robo helicopter that was coming after us. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.